Hi, so in this video, I want to give some advice to new contractors that are just starting out and that are trying to get more customers and that are trying to grow their businesses. It's not going to be easy. Right now, you're in a whole different world. Most new contractors that I know have already worked for somebody else and they have a lot of experience when it comes to doing the actual work. But managing the business is a whole lot of the beast. So it's a lot more difficult because there's a lot more elements involved and you're entering a space that might be unfamiliar to you. Aside from getting leads, aside from doing the actual sales and stuff, uh, the biggest problem that I've also noticed that a lot of new contractors have is that it's a lot more difficult for them to actually work for themselves than it is to just follow orders and do what somebody else tells you. It is a lot more difficult to be your own boss. So switching from the role of being the employee to the role of the employer is going to be difficult for a lot of people. But something that has helped me personally when I started working for myself is the quote from Nietzsche. And he said, I don't know, I'm going to paraphrase basically because I don't really remember the exact quote. But he said something along the lines that uh, the one who can't command himself will be commanded. And to me, that quote is really, really beautiful. And it's not like one person is built for either commanding and the other person is built for following orders. I think it's all up to us. And... You just need to be ready to switch from one role to the other role. And in order to actually be your own boss and to run a successful construction company, you will need to switch from the role of being the employee and following the orders to the role of actually making decisions and taking action, which is going to be really, really difficult for a lot of people. But now that we got that out of the way, getting leads is probably going to be an even bigger problem for a lot of people because getting leads is really, really difficult. You might be tempted to start paying uh, lead reselling websites like Angie, HomeAdvisor, Tomtac and stuff. But I would honestly advise any new contractors from going over to those platforms because it can be really risky. Like you can pay $5,000 for those leads and then later on you realize that you couldn't even close one good job. Instead, I would advise you to build your own system. First of all, you have offline marketing and then you have online marketing. Online is basically what I do and what I've done for the past five years. It's something that I specialize in. There's a lot of different things you can do offline in order to get more customers. But getting a customer is the biggest problem that you have to fix. If you have a customer, you have a business. If you don't have a customer, you only have a hobby. So getting customers is the most difficult part of the whole process and a lot of contractors that are really experienced are just going to tell you oh, you all you need to do is do good work and referrals will eventually come and even though that's true but it's going to take years and years because that process is going to be really really slow no matter what kind of marketing you do referral is always going to be better because people already know you they have verified your work through a trusted source that has recommended your company to them so they're going to trust you a lot more if somebody they know has already used your services so referrals are unbeatable but it's a really slow process. It's not something that you have control over. What I would advise any new contractors to do is build a website, build social media pages, and get a Google My Business profile. Your website doesn't need to be complex. It doesn't need to be excellent. You just need to have something simple where you're going to showcase your work and crucial information about the services you provide and locations you serve. Then you need the Google My Business Profile because this thing is going to help you actually show up on Google when people from your local area search for your services. Next thing you need to do is add a link uh, to your website from your Google My Business Profile. And also, the most important thing is get a lot of reviews. One thing that I should also mention that is pretty obvious, but I'm going to mention it that way because a lot of people don't even do that, is that you need to make sure that you take all the pictures of your work. Like whatever you do, any kind of work, take those pictures, post them on your Google My Business profile and post them on your website. And you also want to post them on your social media. Just by doing these three things, which are completely free if you do them by yourself, you will get more leads. Now, you're not going to get a ton of leads, but it will help you start to get some leads and it will help you get leads over a long period of time. And you will have a much more stable lead source. Compared to, for example, when you pay for Angie or when you pay for any other similar websites, that's something that you can try later on, like when you're already getting some work and when you're already getting some leads and you're profitable. So you can afford to test those platforms out. But a lot of those leads that you get in the beginning are going to be really difficult for you to close. And, you know, you might not even be able to close them at all because a lot of those leads tend to be really low in quality. 
So for those reasons, I would advise any new contractors from using those platforms because if you don't have the budget to market yourself, to pay anybody to do the marketing for you, just by doing these three things that I mentioned and by following those steps that I mentioned, you can definitely get more leads. And you know, you're not gonna get incredible results, but you will start to get some work and you will actually, like those leads are gonna be a lot higher in quality than any leads that you might get through advertising or by buying any leads. So that's the advice that I have for this video. Like those two things, uh, you know, transitioning from the role of employee to the role of the employer and actually getting leads are gonna be the biggest problem that any new contractors are gonna have. And I really hope this video is helpful. If you follow the steps that I mentioned in this video, you will get more leads. I could literally bet my right hand on it. <laughs> so, you know, that's what I have for this video. I really hope it's been helpful. If you have any questions, leave me a comment or go to the website in the video description to contact me directly. And that's pretty much it. Have a nice day.